Hi, I'm Billy Mitchell with FedScoop TV. Today I'm here with Carlos Contreras, U.S. Education Director at Intel. How are you doing today, Carlos? I'm doing great, thank you. Great to hear. Um, I just wanted to ask you a couple questions today about the impact of STEM education, especially within the uh, federal workspace, um, and wanted to start off immediately to ask you about uh, your experience at Intel and when you're recruiting uh, a workforce. Do you recruit particularly for STEM educated people, or what do you do there? So Intel is a semiconductor company. Mm -hmm. We make the latest and greatest technology. Uh, our, our technology comes from people, so we do recruit scientists and engineers to develop the next generation of devices, you know, the next things that are going to go up into space, be in your pocket, or be mm -hmm. on your desktop. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, from your perspective, um, you know, working with those engineers and scientists, um, what kind of challenges do you see the nation facing uh, trying to recruit STEM-educated workers? Uh, there's a couple. One, one is we need to get underrepresented minorities involved. Mm -hmm. They're very, very low percentage of the total workforce today, and it's a growing demographic. So we have to figure out a way to get women and underrepresented minorities. Second is to make it interesting for kids. Yeah. Um, I think we struggle with that sometimes. We, uh, as engineers, we talk about what we do or uh, the amount of math you need to take in order to be an engineer instead of talking about the cool things you can do with mm -hmm. what, you, what you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And my last question is, uh, you know, you kind of answered a couple of them, but, you know, yeah. maybe placing it within the context of the federal government. Um, are there any other, you know, magic, uh, magical ways you can try to get uh, more young people to pursue STEM education? Yeah, I think, the, I think that some of the federal agencies are working on like cutting edge stuff. If yeah. you look at NASA, right? If you look at the National Oceanography Agency, right? Yeah. NOAA, uh, they're, they're working on, on things that kids care about. Yeah. Uh, if space exploration, environmental, uh, food shortages, uh, agriculture. So I think the federal agencies have a really great opportunity to expose to kids in terms of what are the big problems that you can help us solve. Yeah, and these are big problems. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Carlos, that's all I have for you today. Uh, quick and easy, but I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks um, for having me. I'm Billy Mitchell, and thanks for watching.